Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how I'm going to make my um, plier holder. Okay, so the first thing I have here is I've kind of like set this um, drill press up with a board on the left going vertical and one going horizontal at the top. Okay, and the reason I did that is because when I put my wood in here, I'm going to have it in the same exact spot when I drill. So it doesn't matter how many I do, it'll still be the same. So I'm going to turn it on. It's going to get loud for a second. Okay. Get the saw dust off so you can see it. All right, so here it is. Let me dim this light. This is a little too bright for you. But you can see how it is. Now, the other thing I did is over on the side of this drill press, it has these nuts, okay? And what they do is they keep the drill press from going down any further. So that's it. That's like my stopping, you know, nut. So if I was to raise this up, I could go lower. But by keeping it there, when I did this, I'm to get the same exact depth inside as I would on the one previous to it. So they're exactly the same. And these are just scrap pieces of wood I'm making this with. Okay, so now that I've cleaned that mess up, you can see side by side that they're both the same. Okay, now I am going to cut the bottoms to make the bottoms even. And how I'm going to do that is on um, my um, table saw. Sorry, I had a brain freeze for a minute. <laughs> I'm going to do that over here. So let me set that up and I'll be right back. Okay, so I can assure that they're all going to be the same size. I've measured it and I'm going to leave it right at the edge over on the left. Okay, so as you can see, I've clamped it here. So my board is even on the left and it's right here. We're going to take this much off. And then I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, now my blade with this... Um, sled is not going to be tall enough to cut completely through here. I can take it off and it'll be plenty tall enough because I'll have just this, but I have to allow for the bottom base of this, which means it's not going to be tall enough. So when I go once, I'm going to have to turn it over and go on the other end. Okay. And because I'm going to be doing that, I don't like to have my fingers close to the blade. I like to have it as far away as possible. I'm going to cl um, clamp it. Okay, now one thing you need to be careful of and mindful of is your clamps. Like when they go down, it'll stop you. That's what was happening when I stopped the first time. And then the same way with over here, this one was down too low. So be careful with that. Try to maybe keep your clamp horizontal when you're doing it so that if it does move over, it's not in the saw blade and it's not down here as well. Okay, so I'm going to take this left clamp off, and I'm going to clamp it back down on the right side. Well, the opposite side, not the right side. Okay, one thing I want to mention, do not go nowhere near this block, or to try and grab that block inside that you're taking off while the machine is on okay because you will slice your finger off now that's pretty even both ways nice and flat now if i didn't have this one i could go one pass and it would be done but i want to use my stop block so that i can make sure that i have them each the same so now that i have this one here this is a little bit smaller. I can move this over to be even with that. Okay, now I've got the second one set up. Okay, so what I did is I measured over and marked my line, okay? And again, this is just scrap paper. 
I mean, I'm not paper, scrap board that I'm using. And I dip it on all four sides and I just marked it, okay? And so now that I can put this in the right spot, I'm gonna put this right between my lines and then I'm going to kind of mark it where it's gonna go so I get an idea of it when I have it on the drill press. Make sure I have that on there. Okay, so now I want to find a screw and I want to drill a hole in there. Okay, so when you're picking your drill bit size, one thing my dad told me was, let me see if I can get you to focus here on this, where you can actually see it. Ugh, cameras. Well, it does not want to focus for you, but I will hold it far away and hopefully you'll be able to see it. Okay, so when you're holding your drill bit, you wanna make sure you can see your teeth. Okay, don't wanna be so big that when you hang it like that, you can't see your teeth. And when I say teeth, I mean your screw marks. So measure it that way, or you can read the box and see what the box tells you to use. All right, I'm gonna change the drill bit. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and drill this. Adjust my nut just a little bit. Okay, that should do it. Sorry about that. I had to get right in there and get that going. So it went through both sides once I adjusted it. Remember when you're moving on to adjust your screw or your bolt up here from when you did the previous project. Otherwise, it's not going to go all the way through. Okay, so I'm going to repeat that process for the next side and I'll be right back. Okay, so now you're going to have to draw a hole in the bottom of your side pieces, okay? Okay, so now I'm going to show you a tip that you can do that makes this pretty even or easy so you don't have to guess at it too much. If your measuring is not completely perfect, then this will actually help you. Line up your rectangle that you drew. Hold it in place. Take a drill bit. Make sure you got it in place. This is when your vise would come in handy. That way you could hold it in place. Okay, make sure it's straight up and down and just tap it lightly. 
And what that does is that gives you a hole in your wood where it's supposed to go. Okay, so now you wanna go ahead and draw a hole right in there, but not all the way. Just enough to get it started, because you want it to grab. All right, so now I'm going to start my hole, okay? So it's less I have to do later. Just until it starts to come through. Now you need to cut your dowel and you need a round wooden dowel to go through the middle of it. Okay, one more thing you can do if you want to, but it's not necessary. You can drill out here and put a screw through the outside of here. I'm just gonna glue it, so I'm not really worried about putting a screw there. Okay, so now that I've got my dowel cut, I'm gonna go ahead and screw this in place. I'm just gonna pry it apart and put it in there, but I'll put some glue in there to hold it. But as far as the feet go, so that you don't have to worry about anything, you can use these kind of feet and tap them in, or you can just use the regular felt ones. Okay, so it needs to be painted, but now you can see it'll hold all of your pliers. So sand it down, paint it, do whatever you want. Now, if you wanted to do this a double tier, you would just make these longer, and then you could have some here, and then you could have another row up higher on another dowel. Or you could do it taller, and then have a dowel going across the top base, and then you could use that for, say, for instance, you want to go like this, and you want to put something on it, hanging on it. I don't know, like maybe you want to hang your level on it or you want to hang um, a pencil on it, on some little eye hooks, something like that. I don't know. It's just an idea. But anyway, I'm going to paint this and I'll be back. Okay, so once you have the first layer on there, the color that you want it to be, um, you can leave it that way. You can give it a second coat. You can give it a third coat, whatever you want to do. Or you can do like a design on there if you like. You can do like a little pattern. Um, this is just some acrylic that I have. And I'm going to use the wrong end of the paintbrush. And I'm just going to do some random little different size dots. And the more you push down on like the edge of it, the bigger the dots are. So if you go directly down, you get a little one. But if you go like this, then you get a bigger one. All right, guys, so I hope this build tip was helpful for your craft room organization. 
like, subscribe, leave a question, suggestion, or comment below, and I will see you in the next video building more dollhouse stuff. Thanks a lot for watching, and have a wonderful, wonderful day.